Hello everyone, welcome to Homes for Beginners where I show you how to do repairs around the house yourself. In this video I'll be showing you how to restain a deck. This video will include how to strip the stain, bleach the wood, any prep required before staining, and finally applying the stain. It's always important to pick a good quality stain. Unfortunately in Canada, with this situation due to the stricter regulations for stains and paints, some of the products aren't as durable and this will vary between manufacturers. The old stain only lasted for about a year and as you can see most of it has already deteriorated. Spots such as where the barbecue was remained somewhat sheltered from the elements and survived slightly longer. We tried to switch to another brand but as you can see the two boards have a noticeable difference in color. The color was custom made to match but was different. A good quality stain typically lasts about 3 years. Start by removing any items you have on the deck. Cover up any plants with plastic or tarp to protect them from any chemicals and then sweep off any debris using a coarse broom. Any of the supplies used in this video can be purchased at your local hardware, big box or home paint supplier stores. The deck must be dry and free of any moisture when stripping the old stain. Using a deck stripper, this is a chemical that I would recommend using proper safety equipment for as it can burn your skin. While I am wearing shorts, I am being extremely careful and taking my time. Dump the stripper into a bucket or container so it can be easily applied using a brush. Apply the stripper to the boards using a brush. Take your time, being careful not to get it on yourself or any other objects you don't want damaged. I am leaving the portions closer to the house for the last as I will be lightly wetting the siding as a form of light protection. You can also apply plastic or even use some sort of barrier. Water does neutralize the stripper do not apply it directly in the sun as it will dry and not work effectively. Always refer to the product's instructions to determine the exact application process as this can vary. This particular product can have more stripper applied and the surface can also be agitated. You'll be looking at about 30 minutes until it's required to be removed. More applications can be applied after the deck has dried so you should wait at least a day for that. With the other type of stain, more is still remaining on the wood and you can see the stripper working immediately as it softens the stain. Using a pressure washer on the widest fan setting, going with the grain of the wood, wash the stripper away and any old stain. As mentioned earlier, the stripper will be neutralized by the water and washes away similar to soap. When washing away the stripper, try to direct it in an area away from anything that can be damaged. Closer to the house, for a better comparison I'll show you the difference between when using stripper and not using stripper while still using a pressure washer. Take your time when using a pressure washer. You can damage the wood and this is certainly more of a risk with softer woods than compared to harder woods. This deck is made with spruce. The next day, once the deck has dried, I applied more stripper to the areas where the stain was left. You can also see the comparison between using the stripper and no stripper. A pressure washer will wash away some of the old stain but it isn't always as effective. The stripper can help with some of the bleaching of the wood to some extent as well. Using a weed type sprayer, this is an environmentally friendly wood bleach which works quite well and is citrus based. It's a granular base and is simply mixed with water. The area it covers along with the mixing ratio is printed on the side of the package. I am doing this in direct sunlight and this isn't an issue. The light misting can dry quickly but try to keep the surface wet. Apply it evenly to the surface. While it is a natural acidic base, I would recommend avoiding it around any objects that can be damaged. Allow the bleaching product to soak in for about 10 to 15 minutes. A coarse brush can be used to agitate the surface if you wish, but it isn't necessary. The bleach is needed to remove any stains, mildew, or graying in the wood. This gives a great neutral base for the stain once it's applied, reducing the chance of color variations and showing the true color of the stain that you've picked. Wash off the deck again and then allow it to dry. I left the additional work for the next day. When it has dried you will notice some of the wood fibers standing up. In order to tackle this, these can be sanded. I am using a palm sander equipped with 80 grit sandpaper and go over the surface evenly. If you have an older deck, you may notice some splintering in the wood and this is a great time to address that. If they are found, a razor knife can be used to sometimes cut these parts out and smoothen the rough areas, then finish up with sanding the area smooth. I found the blowing feature on a vacuum can be the most efficient for blowing away the wood dust from sanding. Now moving on to the stain. This is a water based stain as per Canadian regulations made by a company which specializes in log homes. 
This stain was unfortunately double the price compared to the original stain that was used, however from our experience it holds up extremely well. Ensure the stain is mixed and then applied to the surface using a brush. A brush is needed to work the stain into the surface and this particular stain is a two-part application. The first coat soaks into the wood. In this step you'll notice that the stain does get used up much quicker. Not all stains require a two-step application. Typically a deck will need to be restained every three to four years in order to provide maximum protection for the wood. Stains which are more of a solid color will have a greater tendency to peel than compared to more transparent stains which will soak into the wood more. Allow it to dry for about an hour, go ahead and apply a second coat. This coat is intended as a sealer. Once this fully dries, the water will beat up on the deck, repelling any moisture. How long a stained deck lasts for can be affected by many areas. What quality of products are used? Is the deck able to have the water run off? How much sun is it exposed to? Is the snow removed during the winter? What type of climate do you live in? And does the deck have sufficient airflow underneath? Once done, this is what I'm left with. You should wait at least 24 hours before walking on the deck and this may vary between products and your climate. The second coat will make the color more vibrant. Colors will be affected depending on what type of stain is used, how well the deck was cleaned, the age, and what type of wood is also used. The exact same process can be used on vertical portions and other features of the deck such as hand railing, privacy panels, steps, pergolas, and roof structures. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more home DIY videos. Thank you for watching.